Today we have a very special guest out of Dayton, Ohio. You may be familiar with her photography of Hamilton and other Broadway plays. Um, her epic shot on top of the airplane in Iceland. And, but you might know her mostly for that time she caught fire with her fire shot. And uh, we'll let her tell that story. But today we have Megan Allen in the house. Welcome. Hey, it's great to be here and thank you for having me. It's an honor. So tell us about growing up in your family and like what was the family dynamics? Where'd you go to college? What did you study? Oh man. What were you before you were a photographer? Life story. Yeah. Oh man. Well, I was born and raised in Dayton, Ohio and always grew up Midwest. It was great. I'm married now to an amazing man and we have one little boy named Carter who's eight and he is hilarious. So just a really awesome life. So grew up playing basketball, competitive sports. I ended up getting a scholarship. Wait, you were competitive? Oh, what? <laughs> Me? No. Yeah, didn't see that coming. <laughs> no. But yeah, so I wound up, I was lucky enough, I was given a scholarship to play basketball in college. So I started my basketball college career in um, upstate New York in Rochester at uh, Robert Weslin. Then I transferred and went to school in um, at Northwestern in Minnesota. And between those two times, I kind of traveled around South America trying to figure out what I wanted to do. As we all do. Uh, right? Like that, that early life crisis. Um, and yeah, so I went to school, I actually went to school to be a missionary, and I have a degree in intercultural studies. Uh, finished with that, got married, had kids, changed my mind a little bit. Uh, I started out writing young adult novels, and that was kind of like my creative outlet. And I actually got into photography because I had a friend who said, my husband will listen to you and you're free and you have a camera. <laughs> so that was my intro into, into photography and I fell in love with it. My husband was super supportive and got me a couple creative live courses and I quickly fell in love with the dynamic of a, a couple, mm -hmm. so engagements, weddings. So I've been shooting weddings for five years, four years full time and two years ago, I can't believe it's been two years ago, Two years ago, I lucked out, connected with the cast of Hamilton in Chicago and started photographing their portraits, which they have been an incredible group of people. And I've you know, become friends with a couple of them long term, but they started referring me out to other Broadway shows and I've been able to meet and so absolutely amazing people in the Broadway scene doing portraits, which was not on my radar. So it's been really cool. So weddings and engagements are my primary, but I love doing creative portraits for creative people and Broadway's kind of been my jam. So how did you uh, start to use Fundy Designer in your business? What was the like? What was the path that, that brought you along Fundy Designer and, and how are you currently using it in your business? Yeah. I stumbled across Fundy Album Designer because I was friends with Ben Hartley and mm -hmm. I saw him follow you to Paris to do oh, your nice. recreation of the portrait of your great great uncle. Yeah. And I was like, who is this guy? This is amazing that he would take this much trouble to recreate this this photo and so I followed you after that and I was super impressed with your work ethic and how much you believed in the product. It wasn't just a sales pitch. Yeah. You truly believe in the power of print and I really align with people who are committed and passionate about their beliefs and I could see how much it meant to you and I started to see the importance as well. Um, we're in a day and age where we're probably living in the most heavily photographed society mm -hmm. but people aren't printing yeah. and that's terrible it's such a sad thing and I know personally I got married and I don't have hardly any prints from it and it's really depressing and so I really started I believed in that and I started implementing the album design into mm -hmm. my collections after seeing York mm -hmm. it was just super easy and it didn't add time to my workflow mm -hmm. and to me if I can add value without adding a lot of time yeah. on my back end mm -hmm. that's huge so I started out just using the album designer and then I realized as I got into Destination Weddings, it was really hard to present the idea of the album to people yep. that are out of state. And you offered the online album proofer, mm -hmm. which was a game changer because I have couples that live in Hong Kong, that yep. live in Canada, all over the world, and I wasn't able to give them an in-person sales experience. But having that online album proofer, I can get on Skype mm -hmm. and walk them through it on video and they're seeing exactly how that album yep. is gonna look. And that's huge because visual, we're visual learners a lot of times. And yep. so seeing that actually conveys the importance of the album even more. Yeah. So yeah, so those two things are what I heavily use. Mm -hmm. And lately I've been implementing the album, um, not only the album design, but the wall art. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with <laughs> the, you can actually put the people's 
rooms yep. in the wall art. And I've been blown away by the fact that I can tell my couples, hey, snap a photo of your wall, give me the dimensions, and I can actually show them what their wall art is going to look like on their own wall. And the other beautiful part of that is a lot of people are scared to print big. Mm -hmm. And when you show them on their own personal wall what a 24 by 36 looks like, it's, it's, not, it's not scary. Big at all. Yeah, it's, it's not, not big, big at, all. at all. No, it isn't. And so they're like, oh, well, let's upsize that, you know? And so it's really, really nice to have those features and give that value to them. It gives them security and they're not scared to order because they've seen what it looks like in their home already. Yeah. And that excites them. So you make it so easy. One thing that we're gonna do in the next segment is that I'm gonna show you some things that you might not know in the Ooh. program uh, for some fun stuff. What are two other, two or three other features of the software that are kind of your favorite things to use? I <coughs> have really started loving the skin retoucher. It's actually quite good. I was a really big skeptic, I'm not gonna lie. I was really reluctant to use it. It's really good. I feel like the two biggest really things good. that photographers are skeptic of are the auto design and the skin retouching. Yeah. They're like, I, it can't be good. Yeah. And then they use it and they're like, wow, that's yeah. actually pretty nice. Yeah, well, and I mean, for me, I take so much pride in where I take my photos as an edit, like on the editing side. So I'm like, nah, I don't need to add more mm -hmm. to it. But I've seen a few times where I've put on the skin retoucher or even just one of the little presets <coughs> to kind of boost the colors and I've yeah. just been floored and it looks amazing. Yeah. So you take the, a lot of stress out of the that. The favorite thing, my favorite thing about the skin retouching is uh, actually what it does to the eyes. Yeah. The brightening the eyes and the under eye. What are the next things that you want to implement to add more profit? to your business. I would love to learn more how to do the magazines mm -hmm. because I want to implement that more as like part of the welcome experience for my clients. I want to do how to prep for your engagement session, mm -hmm. how to get ready for the wedding, stress stress relievers for the wedding. We have I a new engagement session magazine no that came out just all about engagement sessions. Oh my gosh, I need <laughs> to check that out. One thing that I've always loved and respected about you and how you operate as a human, not only in your business but in your life, is one of the things that I love to do is that operate without fear, yeah. right? You you literally jump out of the airplane and figure out how to get down as on you're falling, right? You do it <laughs> on the way. Can you talk about, you know, and maybe give an example, you know, maybe you've been shooting for 10 years and you've never sold an album or maybe you're just starting your business and just the value of just throwing on the parachute and jumping out of the plane. Yeah. So to me, one of the things that I operate by is the answer is always no if you don't ask. Yeah. So until you start selling albums, all of your couples are telling you no and you're leaving money on the table every single time. And before I used Fundy, I had so many clients that would come to me with Shutterfly books or Snapfish books and it made me sad because I knew those weren't permanent fixes and I was giving them a disservice because I wasn't providing them a tangible item that they absolutely wanted. They were showing me tangible items. So my thing is jump out of the plane, start doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect off the bat, but Fundy makes it really easy to nail it down quick, which is amazing. All right, so in the next segment, we'll show you, show you some cool new stuff. Awesome.